Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Iran Hub. Today, we're going to answer a question. Is Luma Labs really worth spending any penny? Because I've been experimenting with this tool for the past three weeks, and I created some animated movies. I animated some memes. If you're thinking about spending some dollars on Luma Labs and creating and starting your journey with video creation using AI tools, here are my honest thoughts and also some tips and tricks so you can use it in the best possible way. So let's get started. Before we jump into any kind of conclusions, let's just answer a very simple question. What is Luma Labs? Luma Labs is a text to video or image to video generator. You either tag text, which is like a very simple description of what you want to see and you change it into a video or you take an initial image that you, for example, created in the mid journey and input this inside of the Luma Labs and animate just this image. If you go to their main website, just click in the right top corner, try now, and you will need to log in with your Google account or your email account. And this is very simple, easy steps. I'm not going to cover this. I know that you can handle this kind of stuff. So if you're already inside of Luma Labs and if you didn't buy the premium version, there's a limitation of 20 generations per day and for free and for now, because it's not going to be forever, you're going to get 30 generations per month. This means that you can play a little bit with Luma Labs and in my honest opinion, 30 generations is something that will show you the capabilities but definitely creating something from scratch or like a very short AI movie with just 30 generations it, this is going to be hard uh, and another thing you need to remember that if you don't have a paid plan you still need to wait in a queue this will not take 60 seconds as they claim on their website this will take the time of the queue plus the generation process which is about like 60 or 90 seconds but the queue sometimes on the free version can be a very very long process sometimes some of my generation were even waiting for one day 24 hours until you see the final results and they're not always perfect let's just face it luma labs it doesn't give you a perfect result every time and you need to remember this i created three videos the first video was a commercial for porsche of course not official one but i wanted to create something that looks super hyper realistic i think it came out really good you can see the full video on my profile and i was very surprised that it handled this very good especially the shots when you have the car and everything is panning to the left to the right up and down you see the structures of the car are being stable the car is not more thing what was also very surprising for me that when i created the moves of the car the car riding in a tunnel uh, it came out like two times it was good as uh, the third one uh, was pretty bad like it was looking like the tunnel is moving but the car is still standing in the same position i wanted to also add a few shots with a horse running next to the car and to be honest this came out pretty bad so i just decided to remove it and i just kept the scene uh, at the very end when there's like a close-up of a horse and a horse standing next to a uh, portion in general i think hyper realism if you go for cars and details and you just try to move the camera pretty slowly so just do the panning this works very good inside of luna labs but as soon as i move generations to the process of implementing a dynamic movement this is where the problems happen so if you're going for this minimalistic look this will work very good the second two videos i generated and those are my favorite uh is harry potter but in ibiza and harry potter but on mushrooms and here i wanted to explore how the luma labs will handle the facial ex facial expression dancing moves and all the things that introduce a little bit more movement inside of the footage it's not always perfect there are many many scenes when i generated them and they were looking very weird that's why i was going also for like harry potter on mushrooms because this enabled me to kind of use footage from luma ai labs 
in a way that will actually work. And as for the Ibiza footage, well, uh, because it was just dynamic inside of the club and I added a bunch of different effects like lights and strobes, it gave the kind of feeling that you're actually on a party and everything is dynamic, but you still see a lot of more things, especially around the face or hands. It's definitely not perfect. Like we, we need to face it. Like if you're working with Luma Labs AI, you need to be ready that at least 20 to 30% of your generations will just go directly to trash. This is how it is. It, I don't think that there's any kind of AI tool, video generation AI tool on the market right now that will give you 100% accuracy and 100% all good generations. You still need to understand that sometimes you're just paying for a bad result. Your contribution to this and your money to this is actually going to teach the AI model to perform better in the future. This is the game. You still need to spend money, throw it in the trash, but this is also your own experience because you will understand how to use those tools in a better, better way every time when you use them. Yes, you can create AI short movies, but you need to pick your niche and you need to understand that there are many limitations and don't get frustrated on the way because there will be times where you will I don't know, think about like a very specific shot and you'll be like, okay, this is going to be amazing. And you try to animate it and you're not even close to this. That's why sometimes you need to flip the switch inside of your head and think of other way showing your vision. Sometimes you just need to remove some of the scenes because they will just simply don't work or they will work about like after 10 or 20 generations. And every generation is your money going to trash if it's not good of course now let's move to the tips and tricks based on my own experience with luma labs ai so the first one if you want to have a better control i would always go for image to video i'm not saying text to video is bad but you need to remember that you need to have your prompt very precise if you want to have control over the style color and composition of your video Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a bunch of different generations that just won't fit together. The second tip is that if you want to control your camera, you need to describe it in your prompt. For example, you can use phrases like camera zoom in, camera zoom out, camera pan right or camera pan left. The full list of camera controls, you can find it in Google or just ask JetGPT to write it for you so you have a better and wider view of your possibilities. The third tip is turn off the enhanced prompt if you want to have a better control. You can do this by unchecking the box under the input bar. What it does, it stops AI from adding additional description to your initial prompt. Sometimes you can see that if you have the enhanced prompt turned on, the camera movement is something that you didn't ask for or there are movements that just simply don't follow your prompt. Just remember that if you turn off the enhanced prompt, most of the effort of creating the description is now on you. Tip number four, to achieve a specific shot, describe the type of the shot and angle of the shot. You can ask for close up shot, macro shot, wide shot or establishing shot. On top of it, you can always add types of angles. And by angles, I mean low angle, high angle or touch angle. Tip number five, use ChatGPT to help you write the prompt. It's very hard to remember all those details that I mentioned earlier. So for this, I usually use ChatGPT. I start with an initial idea of what I want to see and then refine the prompt inside of ChatGPT. You can also ask it for a list of angles, list of shots, and all the things that you can use inside of your prompt to make it even better. Being precise inside of LumaLabs is very important, so this way you can just save some credits and use it for more generations that will actually work. Now, final conclusion, let's answer the question from the very beginning of the video. Is Luma Labs worth of your money? In my opinion, yes it is, but it also depends on your needs. If you just want to play around and you're also patient, just go for the free version. This will be fairly enough for you to know the capabilities of the Ma Labs AI. But if you want to become AI video creator, I would definitely recommend you to test this uh, AI tool for at least one month. 
Of course, there are many flaws. There are no controls inside of this tool. The video quality is not the best one and it's not always perfect. But on the other hand, there are some advantages that makes Luma Lab stand out out of the crowd of all the AI tools that are available on the market. You can use an input image, which is not possible in Runway Gen 3. For 30 bucks in Luma Labs, you're going to get 750 seconds of generated video, which is approximately 12 and a half minute for the same price in runway gen 3 you will get just 225 seconds which is barely four minutes and uh, this makes a difference especially if you take into the account generations that don't work other things i need to mention is that you can extend your video over one minute and you can use keyframes to combine them in one long video and this is also something that is not available on the market my final decision that every ai video creator should at least try luma labs for one month but also remember that this is early for ai videos and testing tools is a part of this game that's why i'm gonna go for runway gen 3 in the next video so if you don't want to miss that drop me a follow yeah and i'll catch you in the next video peace